Nicaragua steak. It's a inch and a half beef steak. Before put it in the plastic bag and cook it in the sous vide machine, we're going to season it. So we just pour a little bit of uh, olive oil, uh, massage it a little bit, and put uh, some salt, some black pepper, and some uh, garlic powder. Just a few. Also, don't forget to um, cover the edges. Okay, now that our steak is seasoned, uh, we will put it inside the plastic bag with some butter, some garlic, cloves, a couple of them, and rosemary. So, here we have our steak already inside the bag with some um, garlic cloves, a rosemary, and some butter from both sides, as you can see. And now it's time to seal it and cook it. So here we're going to uh, set up the temperature of the sous vide um, to uh, 130 uh, Fahrenheit for one hour. So what we're going to do is uh, that I already pour some um, warm water there to help the, the machine to, to heat it uh, faster. So what I will do is um, to set the desired temperature to uh, 130 Fahrenheit. It's like around 50 something Celsius, I remember very well. And we will set it up for one hour. Okay, and so right now, again, this is the desired temperature and this is the current temperature. So as soon as we reach the temperature, we will start um, cooking our steak. So we reach our desired temperature. Now we're going to put our steak inside and we're going to leave it there, cover it with the lid and the timer is already running, so we will wait not actually one hour, what I was mentioning before, it will be hour and a half because I was reading that um, some cooks uh, leave it for one hour, others for two hours, even two hours and a half. So I'm going for the average, hour and 30 minutes, because actually it also depends on the thickness of the, of the steak. So this is uh, an inch and a half steak. So again, I'm going for the average and let's see how, how it will be. See you in one hour and a half. So now uh, I want my steak with some frites or french fries. Uh, with my favorite uh, sauce for this dish, which is Bernet sauce. And uh, so we're going to cook it now. Uh, we, you just need um, some uh, white vinegar. It's um, 100 milliliters of white vinegar, uh, white wine, dry, 200 milliliters. And I already chopped some um, uh, charlottes with some, uh, and it's mixed with um, tarragon and sherry. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't uh, <clears throat> get a fresh tarragon and sherry, so I used um, dry ones, uh, estragon in, in German, and kettlebell, which is sherry uh, and tarragon. Uh, again, we need to adapt. I, couldn't find those uh, fresh in the supermarket, but you know, during these COVID uh, times, it's a cabrón. So what we're going to do, this is already heating uh, low heat. So we're going to pour our um, white uh, vinegar and white wine. Uh, there were like three uh, charlottes, four spoons of uh, tarragon, and two spoons of cherry. So 
what we're going to do here is to mix it and um, we're going to uh, put a medium low heat and here we will create our base for the Bernet sauce so we have been simmering this um, medium low heat for around 10-15 um, minutes but as you can notice we still have um, a lot of liquid uh, so we need actually just one spoon of liquid and when we get one spoon of liquid it means that this is ready uh, so so far all the flavors from the vinegar the white wine the charlotte onion and the herbs are just infusing blending so here we have our base already and what we will do is to just heat it uh, with the steam of, of water uh, and what we're going to do next is to add uh, two yolks uh, without the white and a little bit of cold water so as you can see now um, the mix is, is thick it's very nice consistency so what we're going to do now is to add 250 grams of uh, butter So we are half our way, so now we will add a little bit of salt and then pour more butter and continue doing this until we finish. So now our oil is ready, actually it's supposed to be 200 Celsius degrees, it's 207, so we are ready to uh, put here our french fries and then sear that steak and enjoy so now our steak it's almost done three two one seconds and it's ready <clears throat> after an hour and a half we remove the lid and we take out our steak. So here we have our steak out from the sous vide machine and actually it doesn't look very compelling. What is important here is um, that the internal temperature is the right one and it's supposed to be the right one. We will check it out in a bit. So what I'm going to do now is to dry it very carefully and then sear it in the cast iron skillet. So our pan is almost ready, uh, here you can see, if you can see, 220 Celsius, which is what we are looking for, 225 Fahrenheit, more or less. And I'm going to, because I couldn't uh, get um, avocado oil, which has uh, one of the highest smoke points, so the sunflower oil also has a high uh, smoke point. Uh, more than 440, 450 Fahrenheit. So now we're going to put a little bit, it will be a lot of smoke, and we will start searing our steak 30 seconds each side. Look at that. So now we're going to flip it. Look at this. Beautiful. And then we will add some butter and uh, some uh, rosemary. So here we have our steak and now is the moment of truth because we, we will see if it's cooked 
as we want it from inside. So, let's see. Ay, ay, ay. Look at this. So I don't know if you can notice because the light is really bad here, but it's perfect medium rare as I like it. The edges are just perfectly sealed and then the middle is juicy. Now it's time to try and to see if it tastes as it looks. And we will now see if this steak tastes as it looks like. Let's give it a try. Again, the, the color is wonderful, very juicy. Mm. It's really good. <laughs> this machine is amazing. I don't think I ever cook in such a perfect temperature a steak in my life. This is really, really good. Let's try the Averne sauce. Ay, Jonas, this is one of my favorite dishes. I used to live in DC, so I used to like a lot this French restaurant in the Pont Circle. It's called uh, Bistro de Croix. And they have this dish, actually, as you see. Uh, well, different kind of steak, but it's a uh, uh, steak maison, and it's just um, steak, a frit, hiberne sauce. Um, and you know, I miss it a lot. I was planning to go to to Mexico and then to um, US, including DC, of course. Unfortunately, I had to cancel this trip because hashtag fucking COVID. But you know, like as soon as I taste this sauce, I have a flashback of this restaurant. It's so good. Um, so I think I will be enjoying a lot cooking with this machine. It's really good. And you know, in the meantime, the stuff is cooking. You can do something else. In the meantime, I was cooking the, the Bernet sauce and the fries. And of course, this dish couldn't be eaten without a French wine. This actually was a gift from Julian Eric. Last time they came from Paris to Vienna. Let's see how it is. This goes perfect with this. So people, here you go. Um, let's take Maison a la Aldus with sous vide and cast iron skillet. Excellent. Bye bye people.